The federal conservatives are planning to run against the media in next year's election. Hmm, where could they've got that idea? Definitely not in Canada. In the last two elections, the Tories almost suffocated under media love. In 2011, every Canadian Anglo daily endorsed Harper except this one, which didn't support the Liberals. That's because right-wing post-media had taken over most of the others. In 2015, it was the same. Post-media boss Paul Godfrey ordered it. That's not ancient history, it's last election. Our only news magazine, Maclean's, was bought by Rogers in 1994 and officially went right 10 years later when Ken White became editor and publisher. When Harper refused to participate in TV debates in 2015, except in formats almost no one could find, no major media challenged him. They let him get away with it. The broadcast media have always been mostly Tory. The CBC is an exception, but when opinion gets expressed there, it skews right. The panel on the National always had Andrew Coyne from Post Media. Their main national mouth-off till last year was Rex Murphy, known in Frank Magazine as T-Rex Murphy. I'd also include Don Cherry as the loudest, in various ways, right-winger regularly on CBC. At least in the U.S., there's some evidence for Trump's whining about the media. The New York Times, Washington Post, CNN, the major networks, the New Yorker, are all pretty clearly committed to defeating him. The media persecution claims of the Tories, by contrast, are sheer Andrew Scheer wishful thinking. In other words, Trump envy. For the Toronto Star, I'm Rick Salutin.